and we're going to give you like six different variations of skipping. Can't wait, right? <laughs> and then we'll do, uh, so we'll do a split here, and then we'll do another, we'll do a 90 degree split. So they come up and they split, and then they're going to do 90, and I'll do something else. Maybe, uh, uh, oh yeah, I, I always like to do this one. Here we go. And we'll do this one. So they're going to do a series of 180s from here to here. So what does that mean? Do you want to demonstrate that? No. There. <laughs> <laughs> Serena's got it. Right. But they've got to move from here to here. Yeah. So that's, that's a challenge. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. And then, then I usually do some sort of uh, uh, like uh, um, a monster walk. What's a monster walk? So I've got their, their lunges. But I'm going to have them lunge, and I want their hands above their head. Why? Balance, right. You want to knock them off balance. And so they've got to do this under control, and they'll be marching here. And then I usually have them just go as fast as they can to this line. And many times I will have like a beach ball. I'll be standing there, and I'll just throw this beach ball up in the air, and I'll have them run and catch the beach ball. So they really have to accelerate. Otherwise, they, they finish. You know, like, no. I want, I want the acceleration, so I want some speed. And then they can just go ahead and do it again. So, and you can, you know, I've seen... I have, and, that we let our kids set up the obstacle course. Man, they put balls out there, so you got to jump over balls and hurdles and crazy things, you know. Hoops, hoops are great. You know, get to a hoop, sometimes they'll put jump ropes on the court and you've got to stop and do 10 jump ropes before you can move on to the next one. So obstacle courses are good. And that's one of the things that I generally preset, but I, you know, with the lines, I'll preset and have that on the court. And as soon as we do our few balance things, I'll get them into the obstacle course. And they, and they can do that. And it's one, one thing that you can say, okay, you can only, two times is your max, then we've got to move on, because they'll do it over and over and over again. And, and it's one of, the, one of the good things is that, that when you do these things, it's kind of a, you kind of level a playing field, because you could have some hot shot tennis players, and some, sometimes kids that aren't very good, you have to do them the same thing, and they can all participate pretty well, and it creates some good teamwork and some, some uh, good cooperation there, too. So... There we go. How many teach with a whiteboard? Everybody else, why not? <laughs> what other sports use a whiteboard? Everybody else. Why? Because most of the people are visual learners. How many times? You, okay, you, you, you've all done this before, right? You explain the best drill of, the, of, the, of your life, right? And, and, it, and it get, all, the, all the heads are going, yeah, yeah, okay, that was good. And then you turn around and you get the balls and you go out there to get things set up and they're doing what? Chaos. It's true. There you go. It's so true. Where, where do I start? Use the doggone whiteboard because it saves you a ton of words. You diagram it and you get Everybody got it? Okay. Here's where everybody's going to start, right? Go. You do it and it makes that much more sense. So, I, I, uh, tennis pros, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. I had, I had a disc problem and I had what they call a drop foot. Ever heard of that? There's no function in your leg. I, I, my leg didn't work. And so I had to have surgery, and they, and they said, I said, well, okay, how long does it take before I get function in my leg? They said, well, maybe you will get function. Maybe you will never get function. I scared the heck out of me, but I'm doing pretty good, but I can't demonstrate like I want to. So, so uh, 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 the lateral squats are, are, are a challenge for me. So here's, here's what I want you to do. I want you to be... Let's see if I can do this as best I can. So you're in your best ready position. Everybody show me your best ready position. Right. And I just want you to step out so your foot and your knee are straight up and down. And then recover. Step out. Put all the weight here. Recover. Step out. And what, what, so this is, this is developing what? Some strength in this position. And... Let's do it. Let's really challenge you. Let's make sure that your thighs are parallel with the court. Ah. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. All right. What are you going to do with your hands? <laughs> we, 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 we have some variations. We've got, we got people here. We've got people here. Uh, how can we make this interesting? I always tell the kids are getting ready for a camping trip. And the toilet paper rolls down. <laughs> I like to have them hold something. 
a ball. I've got plenty of balls here. I'll get some, some balls and get in that position. So go right, go left, and I'll get some balls for everybody here, or for most of you, that you can do. So lateral, those, those aren't fun. Lower, lower, lower. You like these? Yeah. I yeah. Well, we're, we're going to use these, right? You seen these? Those are great. They don't hurt anybody, and they're like, they're like a, a heavy balloon. That's exactly it, right? So we're we're gonna we're gonna use that when we talk a little bit more about uh, side shuffles. Okay. So we've got the um, the lateral squats, the skater lunge. Here's what you're going to do. You ever seen a speed skater and what they look like? Here's what you're going to do. You're just going to, you're just going to go from one foot to the other and bounce and bounce and bounce. And then we're going to put you in the alley and you're going to have to do that. So go just one foot after the other, just shift off and see if you can hold it, hold it, hold it. That's it. That's it. Look at, look at the guy from Australia. He's got the best skater lunge. <laughs> Okay, good question, good question. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. So the question is, how long do you spend doing this? And it's, it's, it's kind of a trick question because with your little kids, you're gonna be spending more time than with your older kids. But you have to develop this. How would you, why would you, if, if, if a Ross is, is, if I toss a ball to Ross and he can't catch it, how am I gonna teach him to hit a forehand? He's got to develop those types of skills. So, so it, it's kind of a trick question because it depends on the ability level of your students. If they're not any good, or if they're not, they're not and, and you get kids like that, that, that's okay. You can't develop fine motor skills without the gross motor skills. They've got to develop those gross, gross motor skills first. My rule of thumb, okay, try to get it done in 10 minutes. And so you're going to pick a couple of agility, a couple of balance, a couple of coordination, a couple of, of uh, throwing, a couple of receiving, and then you're going to jump into it. Mm -hmm. things, and then mm -hmm. a bit of yep. The yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. So these are pretty cool. Skate lunge. Uh, side shuffles. Side shuffles. Okay. Boring. Boring. But you can create some intensity here. Uh, you're all going to. We're going to go half a court. So we're going to go from single sideline to the center of the court, and we're just going to be shuffling, and you're going to be doing, you know, an old football drill, right? I'm an old football coach. <laughs> no, I'm not. So. Here's what's going to happen. We've got a group over here, and we can just line up so that you're, yeah. One person here, second person here, third person here, fourth person here, just in a single file line facing me. Single file line facing me, one line here, one line here. Uh, kick those cones out of the way so you're not tripping over a cone. Put, and we're just going to be, we're going to be shuffling. We're going to be shuffling, and I want you to be in your, show me your best, so, so straight line right here. And th this group's good, this group's good, straight line. Show me your best ready position. What is that, what does your best ready position look like? And if I'm taking a scan of our best ready positions, it's pretty doggone good. We're, we're looking good. So our eyes are up, our knees are flexed, how much weight do we have on our heels? None. How do we say that? <laughs> get up off your toe or get up off your heels. Or I like, to, I like to use a little piece of paper or a card and see if I can slide it just under their heels. I don't want them way up under toes because if I say that to a little kid, they're up here and they don't look very comfortable. Right? So I just want a little piece of paper that I can slide under their heels. And I'm just, you're just going to follow me. <laughs> and I've got the hard job. I'm just going to be going here, 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 and you're just going to be moving side to side. Go. Good. Good. 
All right. Uh, next one. Everybody needs, you need two tennis balls. Here they are. Two tennis balls and a partner. So find somebody you don't know, get two tennis balls and you're ready to go. So two or, or you one ball each, two per or two per pair. Go. Who doesn't have a partner? Who doesn't have a partner? Anybody? Hey, David, you're my partner. Yeah, you're, you're my partner. You're going to demonstrate this. So, so here's what we've got. You've done this one before, and kids like to do this one. It's a good one. Uh, David's going to be in his ready, best ready position. How good is his ready position? Right? <laughs> Come on in, because we, we, we need to gauge our our scale here so again how are we doing what are my four rules four rules number one are you listening to coach Kirk I will be the judge of that <laughs> thumbs up okay it's good good how is your effort I'm giving it here right, we can be it can be here all right so I'm, I'm gonna crank up the intensity Pretty interesting. I did, a, I did a video, high school coach, uh, high school video that we did uh, for for a course, and I had kids that were really good kids, nice, ni nice kids, pretty good players. And when you do a video for a course, it's got to be good. I mean, really, really good, good intensity. So they were doing a game, they were doing a drill, and I and, and they said, okay, how was that? And I said, okay, it was it was okay, but that was only a six. I need a ten. Oh, okay. So they gave me a 10. Just, I mean, that's all I said. I didn't sit, get on them or did anything. They, they, they go, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. We can increase it, right? So right now, our effort is an eight. Pretty good. This needs to be a 10. Right. How is your encouragement of your teammates? It can be a whole lot better. I'm not hearing much, you know? We get David out here. He flew all night, two nights ago, to be here, he's jet lagged, and he's going to demonstrate. How does he feel if somebody says, "Come on, David, I know you can do it." Go, <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right, so here it is: ball drop, ball drop. Demonstrate this one quickly. Right, get out here, David. You're going to catch it and then return. Go. Good. Go, David. Go. So how'd that make you feel? Good. Good, good. Yeah. How does it make anybody feel when you got somebody encouraging you? How does it make you feel when the coach gives you a high five? Yeah, great. Yeah. Great, right? So that's, got, that's what we're looking for. That's the, that's the culture we're creating. You having fun? Yeah. Right. We're doing conditioning things for crying out loud. But we can make it fun. So when you demonstrate this, demonstrate it just like I did with David. Don't be doing this thing. Yeah. <laughs> because you get the seven-year-old kid and you go, drop the ball, drop the ball, right? Because they're... Faking them, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slap them, right? <laughs> With your partner, go. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Oh, I changed the back. Good, good. If they're <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Ch change. If they're pretty good at this, what do you do? You back up. You back up. And then you need to change partners. So new droppers, new catchers. Go. Good, 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 good. All right, I like that. All of a sudden, we've got better intensity. Here we go. Next one. I need another demonstrator. Yes. A good one, too, is to have someone start with their back towards the people dropping. We'll, we'll get there. We're going to get there, yeah. Don't get ahead of me. Come on. <laughs> but, but I, I, again, think about all the different variations you can get to, right? So as so long as we're doing it, let's, let's do that. Because so, I've got a story about this one. So wait, I'm going to use it on this okay. one. So, right? All right, so this, this time, I want you to have your back towards me. I talked about how do you get a demonstrator. 
and I just, I, I don't just grab people, but I'll look somebody in the eye and say, okay, I need a demonstrator if I got somebody with that looks pretty positive. Okay, Brent, can you come on out? Like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Right, right, right. So, so here's, here's the story. And, and uh, here's another rule. When we change activities, when I blow the whistle, I give people five seconds to see my eyes. Ready? Because I want to talk to you in this language rather than having to yell at you. And if you're out to the side and you can't see me. All my classes, we did that in five seconds. I had another rule. We pick up tennis because what do people don't like about tennis lessons? There are four things that people don't like about tennis they lessons. They don't like to pick up balls, right? right? They don't like to stand in line. They don't like to be yelled at from across the net. Think about that. Where do we position ourselves? On one side of the court. What do we do? We yell at people across the net. We're saying, no, we're not yelling. We're, just, we're providing instruction. No, you're yelling at them. They think you're yelling at them. And David's going to do some shadowing things, but people don't like to shadow generally. And it, that's you know, doing things and just, you know, the front person does a good job. What do the back people do? Clown around. <laughs> so here, so, the, so my, my other rule, and take this one, take this one. 30 second ball pickup. 30 second ball pickup or we go home. That was my rule. If we don't pick up the balls in 30 seconds, we go home. How many times do I have to enforce that? Zero. But that was the expectation. If you don't have an expectation, how long does it take to pick up balls? Five minutes, minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And and I always like the, you know, there's always a group of kids that are rolling the ball up to the net, and there's another group group of rolling the ball in the back of the court. (laughs) And the pro just stands there because he's checking his phone. It's a good time to check my messages here. Talk about other things, and they don't care, right? That's kind of their downtime, right? 30 seconds. Who helps pick up the balls? I do. Why? Because I'm modeling what I want to see. Period. Wait, ready to go? So here's, here's my story. Here's my story. So I chose, I, and I'm doing a Special Olympics. Anybody work, work with Special Olympians? They're, they have intellectual problems, right? They're, 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 they're intellectually challenged. That, and so, I, I, and, and so I, set this, I set this thing up, and I'm going, okay, well, I'm going to call your name, and you have to turn around, Find where the ball is and catch it after one bounce. And just as soon as I said that, I thought, oh man, I just set myself up big time for failure because I had a big group. So I had all these people sitting off to, and there must have been 100 people sitting there and thinking, poor William. First of all, I don't know if he got it. Second thing, I don't know if he can do it. And if he can't do it, I mean, we can do it over and over and over again. He still can't do it. Right? So I'm going, oh boy. I just set myself up, but I've got to go through it. So I go, William. And he turns and he catches the ball and everybody cheered. And he turns around and said, that was awesome. (laughs) (laughs) And who is the happiest guy in the world? Me. (laughs) So, So here it is. And so you can challenge him by doing what? By calling his name and tossing the ball. That's easy. Or you could do this. William. He's pretty good. He's how good is he? Really? <laughs> William. <laughs> That's good effort. That's good effort. Dive, dive next time. Right? <laughs> William. Oh, yeah. yeah. He almost caught that in the air. Right? So, so that's, that's, that's the ball drop. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, so we mentioned that. Go, 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 go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You guys are way, way, way too nice to your partners, right? <laughs> Challenge them, right? We get people that are hardly turning and they hardly move to catch the ball, right? Challenge them a little bit. Work with them, but challenge them. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's fast. He's lightning. Like that, yeah. Good, good, good.